Family members of those who died in the Uvalde, Texas elementary school shooting were on Capitol Hill today for a hearing examining gun violence in America. Their raw and heartfelt testimony ran right up against divisive politics surrounding the issue of gun control. CBS 4's Skylar Henry has more details from Capitol Hill. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee opened a hearing on gun violence with a recording of the shots fired inside Robb Elementary School that killed 10-year-old Tess Mata and 20 others. She will never graduate high school, never fall in love herself, never be present at my wedding, and we will never know how scared she was in her last moments in that classroom. Tess's older sister, Faith, described her bright younger sister, but wanted answers from lawmakers about what brought her there. Are we not tired of hearing the stories of victims, of hearing them from victims' families? Are we not tired of hearing yet another tragedy because of gun violence? When is enough enough? While Mata delivered emotional testimony, committee members on both sides of the aisle stuck to their gun control talking points. Without an assault weapons ban, more people will die. And if we're not going to ban them, then law enforcement must be trained to confront these weapons of war. There's only one solution for my friends across the aisle, and that is to emasculate the Second Amendment and remove guns from, from legal, lawful, and uh, law-abiding citizens. Lawmakers also heard from the ER doctor on duty when the Uvalde victims were brought in. You should know, they didn't get buried looking sweet and happy like their photos. Some were missing limbs, some had holes in their tiny chests. You might mistakenly imagine a funeral where a child lies peacefully in a colorful coffin. But make no mistake, there's no peace in the death of a child by a weapon of war. Congress did pass stricter gun control laws in June following the Uvalde massacre. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.